Awesome. All right, welcome back. We are almost there, guys. So if you're newer to this and you're like, listen, Jago, I, I really feel good about this, but I need to just cool down and head out. I totally understand. But I want you to ask yourself, do you have 10 minutes that you could squeeze in this 10 minute finisher for that booty. If you are like, I'm ready, let's finish strong with this burn, then I want you to stay. I want you to challenge yourself today. Because the truth is, even if you, it's a 10 minute as an AMRAP, which is as many rounds as possible, you have 10 minutes on the clock to go with me through four exercises as many rounds as you can. If you're new to this, you can set your own timer for five minutes. Just give me five minutes of these exercises and see how many rounds you can get. And the next time you try this, you can go for 10. But we're gonna keep tracking our rounds. If you got a pin, a piece of top, if you're outside for some crazy reason, um, feel free to mark it down so you can keep track for the next week. This is something I do with my training naked program so you can learn to adapt your workout so you never hit that plateau. You continue to challenge yourself more and more. If this is completely brand new for you, Stick with body weight. Hang with me, but stick with body weight. I will show you modifications. This is a low impact situation for these next 10 minutes for the most part. And for the other things, I will show you how to make it lower impact. So have at least one to two dumbbells. If you got lighter dumbbells, I would use two um, when we do hip bridges. Otherwise, you can have one heavy dumbbell. So we're gonna. I'm gonna go through the exercises real quick before I set the timer. The glute bridge you've already done before. What you're going to do is whoo, right here, same glute bridge, bridge position. You're holding that weight at your hips, right on this hip bone, supporting it. You don't want it rolling around. But we're doing single legs. So what that means is you're going to press up and down. We're going to stick with one leg and then the other. Um, whoo, everything is going to be 10 reps. How many reps? 10 reps, 10 minutes. So you're going to do 10 reps on each leg. Um, of that single leg glute bridge. But then we're gonna shift into the glute bridge hold with abduction. So all that means is you're gonna have this band on. You can have it on the whole time if you want, by the way. You're gonna have this band on above your knees. It's optional. Your, glute, your dumbbell here, you're up. You're just holding and you're giving me 10 abductions. That means your knees go out and in for 10. You're keeping your butt up the whole time, squeezing nice and tight. That's your second exercise. Your third exercise and, sec and fourth exercise are both donkeys. So the first one, donkey kickback. You're on all fours, your knees are right underneath your hips. That band is on you and you're going up and down. My suggestion with this is that you put, whew, you put the band at your shins and you use the foot with the band, whichever leg you're doing going up. So the band is on the bottom of my sole, my foot. My foot is flexed and I'm pressing up. If you do not have a band, you can place a dumbbell right here, squeeze it tight. You don't want it to roll out. And then you're squeezing up just like that. So you can do that with a band or a dumbbell, 10 on each leg. So 10 and 10, remember that number 10 is sticking with you. And then our favorite, we got a little cardio, donkey jumps. What you're doing with the donkey jump is you're going to literally jump right and left over your mat. So you're here, you're gonna jump up and over up and over. If you're like, heck no, that is not happening. We're gonna just hold here in the isometric hold and you're gonna try to tap, tap, okay? So you choose what you wanna do. I'll be going through the modification options as well. But remember, you're doing 10, 10 minutes as many rounds as possible. You're going at your pace, hang with me. There's no wrong way to do this as long as you don't compromise form. So don't feel like you have to rush. Get ready for that 10 minute AMRAP. We're gonna start with that single leg bridge. I will tell you each exercise before it comes. So do not stress, do not fret. You're gonna be just okay. For that single leg bridge, I'm gonna grab my heavier dumbbell and I'm gonna go ahead and just put that band across my knees so I can easily switch to that abduction where the knees are going out and in. So if you do have a band, go ahead and put it on now and you'll kind of keep it on you the whole time. I'll show you how I do that if you follow along. So the band's right here above my knees. We're getting ready. Woo. Single leg hip bridge. 
carefully grab that weight if you have it. You're gonna start with one leg, pick whichever one you want. I'm gonna pick my left and go for 10. Gonna try not to count out loud. Squeeze that butt up. Once you get to 10, go right into the other side. Other leg is up, squeezing that glute. Remember, we're going to 10. You got this. Woo! Hang here. Next up, you're squeezing up in that glute position. Go out and in for 10. Your hips do not move. They're squeezing up the whole time. Don't let them drop, even though they want to. Squeeze and control. This is one that I do want you to do with control. Get all 10. Keep squeezing a little higher. One, good job. Carefully set it down. We're flipping over for donkeys. Remember, you go at your pace, finish the 10, and then meet me here for donkey kick. I'm going to start with it at my shin, so I move it down slightly. And my right foot is going to have it on the heel. So just like this, and we're pressing up. So I'm going to use 10 on one side, 10 on the other. Whenever you're ready, go for it. Squeeze that booty, flex that foot. Try to keep your core tight so you're not rocking. Get your 10. Good. Switch. So I'm placing that band back on my shin and then over my other shoe this time, my left side. When you're ready, go for it. Woo! Seven. Eight. Nine, ten. I'm gonna keep the band at my knees for donkeys so I can easily go into the next one. But you don't have to. I'm just lazy. So you're here, you're doing donkey jump over your mat. Like so. Ten, nine. I'm really nice, I'm doing easy count. One. Good job when you get your ten. Back on the mat for the single leg glute bridge. We're we'll keep going. It's 10 minutes, as many rounds as possible. If you need to thrust, if you need to grab water, you do you, okay? I'm gonna start that single leg glute bridge. I'm gonna start my other leg this time. Ready when you are, go for 10. Remember, this is your pace. Oh my goodness. I am feeling this. Switch sides if you hit 10. Remember, you went 10 each side. Woo! I'm almost there. <laughs> so are you. Good job. So you're here. Squeeze up, abduction. So you stay up the whole time. Out, in. Good job. Get your 10. Squeeze up a little higher. Good work. All right, we got donkeys. I'm going to show the way with the dumbbell. Just so you can do it if you have dumbbells. You're over on all fours. Place that weight behind your knee and you're squeezing for 10. Keep breathing. Woo! Good job. You got it. 10 and 10. Remember, get both sides. Squeeze that dumbbell in nice and tight. I have had these fall on me before, so be careful. I'm pretty clumsy, though. Literally. <laughs> I taught um, group fitness at Carolina, and I used to stumble. I would trip. I would twist my ankle. Almost there. It was, it was rough. <laughs> you just laugh and keep going, you know? The more embarrassed, embarrassing things you do, the less embarrassed you become. You just want to get over it. I think that's the power. It's not really about confidence, it's about being okay with being uncomfortable. And it just stops being uncomfortable. I should be moving. Stalling. Donkeys, remember your other option is here. Tap out, tap out. My 
hips are over my knees. It's called a frozen bear. And then you're tapping. Whew. As soon as you're done, go into the single leg glute bridge for over halfway with that 10 minutes. So you can do this. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my band and get ready for glute bridge. You can do this. I hope you keep going. Cause I know it's hard, but we're gonna make it happen. Single leg. Good job. Keep squeezing up. Woo, when I record my training naked videos, we were in Mexico. It was so nice. It was like the sound of the waves in the background. I'm just pretending I'm there. So when you're watching the videos of me, when you buy Training Naked in my program, you're just gonna teleport there. <laughs> Good job. 10 and 10, and you're up for abduction. You're up, squeezing out, and you should feel this in your glute knees, that outside upper booty. Make sure hips aren't dropping, squeeze up a little bit higher. I know it burns, y'all, I'm burning too. We're almost there. Donkeys are next. I'm gonna keep my band on. You guys can choose what you wanna do. Remember, move it down a little lower and whatever leg you're starting with, that's the shoe it's going under, okay? So I'm right here. It's on this shin and this shoe. Go for it. Stamp the ceiling. Ooh, I'm thirsty. Grab water if you need it. I'm talking to myself, I need to go grab water. Pick up. 10 and 10. So again, when you switch, if you haven't already, you're here, foot and shin. Go for it. Up. Good job. Donkeys, I'm gonna place this up above my knees just so I can move. With the jump, you're here, jump over your mat. Yep. Time. 
wherever you're at. Time. Oh my goodness. Do not lay down yet. Your heart is probably going fast. Go ahead and catch your breath. Grab some water. Oh man. You did it. 10 minute AMRAP. We're done with the workout. Cool down if you have to go head off. Please make sure you stretch. Otherwise, hang with me while we talk through some stuff. You're doing great. Bring your legs out. Have a seat. Legs out in front of you. Simultaneously with the Embrace Your Body Challenge, it's day one. You are not just working out, you're not just here to work out, we're going to really focus on embracing our body. And not just our body, but just our full selves and recognizing we're not worried about perfect, we're worried about progress. Right leg out, left leg in. So, I've got some affirmations for you, I don't want you to repeat them with me as we continue to stretch. I'm going to try not to breathe all over you, we'll see. Go ahead and drop it over. All right. Switch. Your heart is going down. You're reaching for the opposite leg. So you're going to keep stretching, mirroring what I'm doing, but we're going to start doing affirmations. I'm going to read them three times. You can hear the first one and read the other two. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read them once. Sorry. <laughs> Y'all, my brain is not working right now. Feet together. I'm going to read it, and then I'm going to pause for you to read it out loud. I'll do it one more time, you read it, and then we'll go to the next one. So get ready for that first one. Your feet are together. Inhale. Sit up nice and tall. Exhale. All right. I have everything I need. I am open to limitless possibilities. Twist. I am open to limitless possibilities. Hug the other knee in. I am ready to share my gifts. to share my gifts with the world. Good job, you're on your back. Thumbs up. I'm create, creative and open to new solutions. Right leg over the left. I am create, creative. Whew. I'm creative and open to new solutions. person I am and the person I become. I can and I will. 
will have more than I ever do possible. Mm -hmm. Squeeze tight. I choose wealth and abundance. Squeeze really, really, really tight. Really, really, really tight. I'm going to read this one and then you're going to release and repeat after me. Squeeze so tight, you're squeezing every single muscle. I achieve whatever I set my mind to release. And then I achieve whatever I set my mind to. Deep inhale. Release. Last one, inhale, reach up. Exhale. And when you're ready, come up to meet me. Last one. I am now free to do the things I love. Inhale, reach up. Hands together, come to heart. I am now free to do the things I love. Namaste. You guys were awesome. Thank you so much for embracing your body today with me. Remember, our bodies are meant to move, jiggle, fold, crinkle. It's okay. I do not want you to focus on being plastic, perfect Barbie doll. You are focused on being you and the best you can be, be and feeling your best, most confident self. And it starts here. It starts with embracing yourself and focusing on progress, not perfection. You did this. You got here. And I'm looking forward to spending time with you the next couple of days. Be sure to tune in to my live at lunch. We are doing that every single day, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Set that as your lunch time so you do not miss it. I want to hang with you at lunch. Thanks for working out with me. I'll see you next time. Thank you.